Hi friends, I am Metrivel. Now this is my another tutorial. Now I will teach you how to search uh, data data in data grid view. Okay, okay. Uh, once I hit the any any data into text box related to text box, uh, data will be come into data grid view. Okay, just I am checking. Uh, just I am click show button here. So every data is come from database. So I am using search based on the class. Based on the class, okay. Just I put the class based on the class. Just I, I, V. Okay. So I will teach you how to write the code here. Okay. Just I am close the form. Close the form. Okay, I am creating new form file. Sorry, there mm, is a right click new new Windows form. Okay, form two. Okay, here yeah, this is toolbox. I am adding one data grid view here. Okay, data grid view. So, and just go to disable everything, and I put one text box here. Text box here, and one button here. I'm change like show all show all okay once hit the show all button every in every data it will be come into data grid view once I'm search the type the text uh, based on the text uh, filtering the data grid view okay just I'm show all buttons and uh, write some code Yes, uh, importing the SQL client using system dot data dot SQL client. Okay. Now I'm go to data server and go to this is my database. Okay, tables. This is my data like uh, show data. So uh, data is there or not? I am just checking. So data is there. Okay, student ID, student name. Okay, okay, class class. Okay, national. Okay. Just time. SQL connection. Connection C O N equal to new SQL connection and SQL data adapter SDA equal to new SQL data once you using SQL data adapter then you no need to uh, connection dot open because the SQL data adapter is dynamically open the connection automatically close the connection everything do by self one way okay so I am importing the select start from student And importing the connection C O N. So and uh, once I'm getting the data into data table, data table D T equal to new data table. Yes, D A dot fill D T. Okay. 
data grid view dot data source equal to dt so just try and hit the button so it's coming in first form okay and just go to here programs i'm changing to form 2 because now i'm developed to form 2 only so just save and run once again okay show all connection string is not initial because the connection is not initialized so okay go to and select the database and right click properties and here connection string is there control c and inside here double quote you have to paste it control v just control s and run again so everything comes so student id is null so i am just uh, writing some student id here so because of training purpose we will see the data VEL yes. Okay, I'm changing the data to some fields and just show all everything is comes here. Okay, now I try to uh, and type uh, now I'm entering the student ID. Then based on the my text, I want to filter this data. So I'm going to coding here. I'm writing the text change event. Change event. Just double click here text box. We will get the text change event. Inside text change event, you have to write the query. Okay. <coughs> First, I want to the data. Uh, what data is that? So I'm just modifying the data table structure. Just control C copy and control V paste here. Just modify it. Okay. <coughs> Once I hit the show button, the every data is stored in uh, stored in data table also. Data table also. So I am just using one data view. Data view dv is equal to new data view in data view data source equal to dt. So here DT is there. DT is there. Okay. <coughs> now D D V dot row filter equal to what is the field name? Student ID. Okay. Just I'm writing stu underscore id like like mm, just a minute like first news okay correct like as percentage text box one dot text plus that's it just data grid view one dot data source equal to now dv now just control s and run it 
just I am first time hitting the show all button then only data will store in data table also now I am just writing a yes containing some what the error is going plus like trim trim command okay everything is done just run the button and write show all first and after that I am search a s b it's working okay I will import uh, one more option also is possible then is very nice then okay just I am changing here one combo box here and using on combo box first I am getting the field names here in form load event I am writing um, combo box one dot items dot add here writing at admission underscore number what field I want like to search so I will just selecting here like that okay and control C copy control V paste control V control V just I am importing four fields here just properties and just copy control C control V C control V and the class C control V just control S now here just I am changing to here changing to um, what I am to press. combo box one dot text just control S now I am going to run the programs and select which field I want to search like that show all first I want to search student ID once again yeah it's full time okay otherwise show all I want to search to by student name just student name hit and I am searching D E V R T A M I L R P A V I Pavita. So everything is done. Okay, guys. I will be meet in next tutorial. Bye.